What you doing? I'm your Otaku Tainer, the AC Stories, and this is an Otaku Tainment Reviews. I'm talking about a brand new manga called Insistential Unplugged or Jitsu Zone Unplugged. This is episode one, You, Despair, and Rock and Roll. This is a manga, or the art is by Kano Masaya. The story or original work is Sanji Komori, with the concept by Junosuke Ito, supervision by Hiroyuki Yoruzuya. There's a lot mentioned in the credits, uh, and in a different way than you normally see, but that's how it is on title page, so that's how I included it. And then the translation for the English part is by Angelina Kurgunska. The lettering is by Alia and Nabila, with editing by Madison Griswold and Medibang. This came out on Jump Plus slash Manga Plus on March 30th, 2024, and is short for a first chapter at being only 46 pages. Aside from just the weird way to credit and that a lot more people get credited with this, there's not a lot of credits from other projects for this group. Most of them have worked mainly in anime, but Kana Masaya also did art for uh, Sono Kuchizuke Wai Isekai Osuku. Uh, don't know anything about it, but that's the only manga credit between all of them that I saw. Me finally learning lessons, I remember to read the summary of this series, which is Philosophers, burning with unexpressed thoughts after a lifetime's of reflection, have curiously reemerged in our world. Among them, Kierkegaard finds an unconventional outlet for his philosophy. Music! Watch as he rocks the city of Nakano with a comedic twist on philosophy. Finally read it, got me a decent idea for it, and... It's an okay summary. It kind of gives me an idea. It's not as much of a comedic twist as I was expecting. Not as much philosophy as I expected. There's a whole lot more music to this than you would probably think. But aside from that, it seems like this is the series that uh, Jump Plus, Manga Plus needs. After Hit History's Mentalist, need another philosophy sass history uh theme to go amongst all the other series which uh, from this first chapter like i said it's more about music than philosophy but we'll see where it goes this series will follow soren by kirkegaard who named i'm not sure how to pronounce uh who was a 19th century philosopher from denmark known as the pioneer of existentialism and is surprisingly a real person. I guess it's not that surprising to use real people, but this, uh, the existential part is the real part. However, compared to the real pictures I could find, uh, the manga version has a more existential dread look and looks a lot more Japanese instead of European. And aside from the existentialism part of it though, it doesn't seem like everything will follow it doesn't seem like it will follow too much of whoever Kierkegaard actually was and is did but it's only the first chapter so maybe you'll dive more into it. I also just don't know why they picked at least to me such a random person maybe the creators had more of an interest in this or maybe just the whole existential <laughs> crisis just seems like a funny thing to work on and I just looked that up and found this person so I don't know but Kierkegaard is going around asking people about despair and depression and people don't like that They're usually like the fuck or run away or, or just blow him off because yeah that's a weird thing to just suddenly go around asking people but then notice that someone playing guitar and is able to get a small crowd and then that's how we're led to the title page of Kierkegaard now has a, a guitar and it seems like going to learn music probably be good or something because that's how stuff like this goes in manga I hope you really sucks and of course it's manga there's no sound so we don't know for sure how it sounds next we meet Barry Tanaka who is at their father's funeral Toshio Chuck Tanaka funeral and if you caught that right away like I did well it's also pointed out I think uh, there's a Chuck Berry reference there the father's named after Chuck the daughter's named after Barry uh, and right away at this funeral there's smoke and water being played knocking on heaven's door like I said the music is already right away coming out uh, and well I guess funerals are kind of religious -y, uh, philosophical but they don't spend any time really on the funeral it goes to flashbacks right away showing um that barry chuck and barry have a music venue called nakanopolis just 
a play on Nakano and then Opolis, Metropolis, something like that. And it now left to Barry, but Barry's the banker and wants nothing to do with it, but still feel obligated to put on the last two gigs. So next we meet Fender, who works the sound at Nakaopolis, Nakanoopolis, and Sayaka, who works the floor. Uh, and among all this, Barry kind of seems useless, probably just work the ticket booth or pass out flowers or something, because these two can kind of tell that Barry doesn't really seem to care about any of this, which Barry keeps saying. I don't know if Barry says it out loud, but at least to himself a lot. <laughs> that doesn't want anything to do with this. But then goes on to reminisce about used to Lock and Rocket, but passion isn't enough to make a living from it or do anything with it. This is, while walking around reminiscing, uh, Barry happens upon Kierkegaard just sitting in a park uh, with a guitar and then is asked about despair, caught off guard, and this catches Kierkegaard's attention. It's like, oh, you noticed me, you reacted <laughs> in a way that wasn't running away. And then sees a flower about the concert and a concert of love. I don't know what that really has to do with it, it but it's pointed out. And then there's nothing really about love that's brought up later. Huh? What was the point? I don't know. But it's interesting for some reason because of philosophical background. That part wasn't really clear. It just it felt like it needed a way to force these two to be together in something that kind of makes sense. I don't know, but then Kierkegaard has some kind of hypothesis revolving a guitar or a string instrument. I don't know what, oh, yeah, I don't know how important it really is that it's a guitar or just a string instrument, but it does actually pay off in the end. That's a little satisfying only to me because of where I saw this going and it worked out. So they go back to the venue, right away hear someone on stage singing some lyrics, Kierkegaard catches, probably from the Gospel of Luke, blah blah blah. And then goes more into Barry is upset uh, about just the unoriginal playing, like every, the style of playing is uh, uh, bo boring, or it's like copy and paste, the lyrics are just playing whatever. But then starts getting up so, at himself because there's still that inner music geek in him. And then Psycho adds on a bit, just saying how this band has been rehashing the same songs ever since I wrote them years ago. But after that band is done, uh, Kungar goes up and just sings nonsense about despair and possibility. Honestly, it seems like it would suck in real life, like a lot, but because it's manga, it has to be fake inspirational, but in my head, it sounds something like this. Give me possibility, get possibility, get possibility. And then after that, everything's over. Everything seemed to go okay enough. Everyone was kind of inspired by all this music, but we get to see that Kierkegaard's hypothesis was sing with an instrument, no matter how lame the idea is, and people will take it seriously. And I was like, yeah, like it finally fits the, I didn't look up too much about Kierkegaard, just breeze through, but what I could find was he kind of just seemed, I don't know if it was so much as a dick, kind of stuck up, but just this, I don't know, douchey attitude, which we finally get to see with this hypothesis statement, which kind of gives him more of a character that I'm more interested in than just whatever it kind of sets it up to be at the beginning. Then also, what was the point of all this? Uh, Kierkegaard just going be the more real life version and this is this first chapter was just to divert expectation who knows but it got me a little bit more interested in it because so far it's been kind of like lesser or whatever but then um Kierkegaard reveals the truth to Barry saying came I guess died reincarnated came back from wherever it doesn't make too much sense or got time traveled from the 19th century it actually doesn't say straight up if it's like reincarnated or brought back to life or just time traveled we don't know how much Kierkegaard's like memories there are and he's still young so ah, it's ah, probably something you're not supposed to think too much about but yeah and then just invites himself to, at St. Aunt Barry's home no asking no like just a night it seems like Kierkegaard's just like I'm gonna live with you now and you're gonna take care of me or whatever 
So yeah, that douchiness coming out. Kind of glad because otherwise it really would be boring and just lackluster overall. Then there's one little bonus page at the end of some real Kierkegaard quote or like a chapter from a book, just the sickness unto death. And it doesn't really go into it. It's just like, here's something that Kierkegaard did. So it's like, oh, okay. That's it? Oh, okay. What was the point? I don't know. So that is it for my thoughts on this series and Existential Unplugged. Uh, there's, I don't know. I'm not too crazy about it. I think I'm not a religious person and it, it kind of took me out of it. I'm a big music person, so I was kind of looking forward to this. Um, I was hoping for some more comedic stuff to it. Nothing like crazy or over the top, but just something more interesting and witty, especially in the music realm. And there's a little bit, uh, but nothing that's doing it too much for me. So, I mean, of course I'm gonna follow along with it, but I'm not expecting too much from this series. It's probably one of the most, or one of the least interested series I've started on Manga Plus. So, I don't, I want to see where it goes. Maybe it gets better. It probably will be just another short series like some of the other ones have been anyways but like i said it's probably just a replacement for history's mentalist because you need some kind of like historical slash philosophical uh base story i guess just to mix it up which is good yeah i don't know I don't, if anything the thing that would be the most fun to come from the series just getting all the references and seeing how much can be like stuffed in there because uh, right away we saw a lot of music stuff and i'm interested in that and it's stuff i knew because, I mean, even though I'm supposed to have a lot more knowledge about music, because that's what I went to school for for years, I don't feel as equipped as I should be. But moving on to the last thing I always talk about, the title, which is a lot better than the whole series. I think it's probably one of the most clever series titles uh, that I've seen, because the existential, of course, from Kierkegaard's philosophy, and just the comedic existential dread that guess resonates with pretty much everyone especially me because i'm turning turning uh and then unplug just like being unhinged but also being unplugged from like an amp the music the guitar i just think it's clever but I, it's too bad the rest of the series doesn't go as clever as the title and then the chapter title uh it seems more obvious but it's catchy and it sounds like it could be a song name uh, you despair and rock and roll sounds really cool but uh, the, uh, I don't know this series it's I don't expect a lot I'm wanting a lot from it but let me know what you think if you really like this first chapter if you're also just kind of skeptical iffy about it uh, let me know you can talk more about it in the comments you can find me on social media the AC stories you can email me at the AC stories at gmail.com or join my discord and we can talk there links will be in the description for all that easy for you to find and i also have a ko-fi i want to thank my ko-fi members fix lab and julio vasquez you also want to help support me with a little money you don't have to but if you do i appreciate it but if you liked what i had to say go ahead and give it a like if you want to keep up with more reviews and other stuff go ahead and subscribe but that has been it for this otaku tainment reviews i've been your otaku tainer the ac stories thank you so much and bye